Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House where I share DIYs and inspo for food, travel, and home all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video with my cat in it. Today's video is a collaboration with Sarah from GGB DIY and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second, but let's get into the crafts. DIY number one. This is going to be a garland for my tear tray. And as you can see, Captain is more than willing to lend his assistance, particularly when there is twine or ribbon involved. So I'm just cutting out the little flag shapes out of that cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby and folding it in half. And then I'm taking off these little sunflowers I got these from the Dollar Tree last year. I think it was closer to fall. And I'm also cutting off this ribbon because I'm going to be making, I want those to look like those rag garlands that, you know, materials that you just strip, take strips and you tie it around the thing. Anyway, I'm going to do that, but with ribbon. And my vision, it was all going to lay like nice and hang down. And that's not exactly how it's turning out, but that's okay. I'm going to go back and kind of cut those just a little bit shorter. I'm going to hot glue on the sunflowers onto the brown little flags that I've made and I make it work in the end. And as you can see, I'm just trimming that up and it's all good to go. Today's video is a collaboration with Sarah from GGB DIY. She produces new videos every single week and you guys, you need to go and check her out. The description box will have a link to her channel and I'm telling you, after you're done watching my video, you need to head over there quick as you can and check out all the videos that she has and be sure and subscribe while you're there. DIY number two. I'm going to be making a welcome sign with this piece of wood that I had on hand. I'd already painted it white and I did use my Cricut to cut out these letters. If you don't have a Cricut, and I didn't for a long time, you can just use the stickers from the Dollar Tree. They work just as well, I promise, for the, the technique that I'm doing today anyway. And of course, I do have help because Captain likes to craft as well. Maybe he needs his own show. I don't know. So I get all of the letters on, and then I use that Waverly Wax in the color Antique, and I stain the front of it. And once I got that done, I was going to use this wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree to kind of outline the piece of wood. I don't recommend the wrapping paper is just so terribly thin and it just did not do. It was, I was going to use like the scrap of paper I usually do. Anyway, it didn't work out. I don't recommend it. Now I'm removing all those letters to reveal the white underneath and I just think it looks so pretty. It has that nice rustic look to it. Then I'm sanding down where I had that paper, trying to, to make it a little bit smoother and even. I'm going to take some polka dot ribbon and I'm going to glue the polka dot ribbon all the way around the piece of wood. Now you know where there's ribbon. Captain's probably going to be around and he likes to help his mama. DIY number three. This is going to be a love sign and I got these cubes from the Dollar Tree and I got the paper from Hobby Lobby. I'm just tracing around those cubes. Now, fun fact, sometimes at the Dollar Tree things aren't the exact same like these cubes for example. I have some that weigh more and these feel like they have a hollow core, so who knows? It doesn't really matter for this project though. So I'm taking Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I'm going to be staining all of the cubes. I didn't stain one side just because I'm going to be putting the paper on one side, but ultimately you could stain all the sides if you want to. And I'm just applying the stain and then wiping off the excess on all of the cubes. Now that they're all dry, I put some Mod Podge 
on the cube and then I applied the scrapbook paper. Then I went back, I don't know why, but I went back and put another layer of Mod Podge on the top of the paper. It's not really necessary. It's what I did though. Let those dry and see that it had a little bit of an edge to it. I took my sandpaper, got that little sand block from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of clean up the edges by sanding or I guess distressing in a way, but um, just when you when you sand on the corners like that, it helps cut the paper and you don't have to try to get in there with your like little scissors and not get it really good and it be uneven. This way it gives it a nice clean um, trimmed off edge. Now that the four cubes are finished, I'm gonna take these letters that I cut out using my Cricut and I don't like cut them each letter out. I just kind of pull back the transfer tape and apply them like that. And of course, I just have the letters L, V, and E because the letter O is actually gonna be one of the sunflowers that I have. Now I'm gonna attach the sunflower. I got the sunflower again from the Dollar Tree, probably in the fall last year, just hot gluing it on. This sign could actually be kind of turned around. You could use the back side for something else. Maybe use white vinyl or white chalk paint or something like that and do something fun on the back. But I like how it turned out. DIY number four. This little project, I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultramat Paint in the color Linen White. And I'm gonna be taking this little wood circle. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I haven't seen it lately, so it's one of those little hard to find items, but giving it a really good coat of the paint and I'm going to set it aside to let it dry. Captain is offering his assistance. Also, he's trying to scratch himself using my cameras, <laughs> the thing that holds my camera up. So I got this paper from the Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be cutting out the mat that I'm going to be adhering it to is also from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just cutting out this little square piece, rectangle piece actually, technically, right? And I'm going to be using Mod Podge, a generous helping of that. And I'm using my silicone brush. I got mine off of Amazon, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree now. I've seen them, not that I don't need one, I've seen it quite often. So I'm just pressing that down and making sure that it's sticking really well. Then I'm adhere uh, ad adhering, I'm transferring on this little home sweet home transfer that I cut out using my Cricut. I'm hot gluing it to the little mat and I'm gluing a sunflower and a big one and two little ones on each side. Got those from Dollar Tree and I couldn't decide. It, it just needed a little bit more oomph. So I added a little bit of greenery and I'm going to take some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to wrap that all the way around and I get almost to the finish line. Needed a little extra help. Added that to it and can't even tell. I like how this one turned out. DIY number five. I've saved the best for last, y'all. This little circle round I got from the Dollar Tree and I painted with Rust-Oleum's Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. I had this Hello Sunshine cut out, design cut out from my Cricut and I'm just using the Hello part. Marked off the center spot because I'm gonna be using Waverly Antique Wax in the color, no, Waverly Wax in the color Antique to kind of like stain the, the ends and I got those sunflowers again from the Dollar Tree and now pulled back the painter's tape, left the blank middle, and I'm gonna transfer on the word hello in the middle of the sign. Then, and it transfers, it's, it's, I'm getting better at transferring, you guys, I'm getting better. So I got that transferred over and just kind of figuring out where I'm gonna place these sunflowers and then, well, Captain needs to help because there's, there's ribbon involved. So I have some buffalo check ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna glue it right along that line there between the antique wax and the white paint. And then I'm gonna hot glue on three of the sunflowers along the top there. And I'm gonna take my little scissors and kind of trim off that ribbon. And you guys, this is my favorite. It turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved creating these today. And thank you to GGB DIY, Sarah over at GGB DIY for joining me for today's video. I just had so much fun and I think that these DIYs turned out so well. 
and you can use them into the fall because they're, they're sunflowers so you can use them into the fall if you wanted to again thank you guys for joining me today i hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget if you want to follow me over on instagram or here on youtube it's our great house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy bye